just want my capsule back. We've got you now, Chipmunk. Aha! Ha! Where is it? Hey! Hero! Huh? Why is Hero burying his treat? Hmm. He could be storing it for later. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. How's it going? Hi, Leo. Not too well. My smell-collecting capsule was stolen! Stolen? Yes, I just collected the precious smell of a super rare animal. I haven't stored it in my database, and now it's gone! I'll never be able to collect that smell again! Never! Do you know who stole your smell-collecting capsule? I took a photo of the thief before it got away. Here, I'll send it to you. I think it's a squirrel. I don't think that's a squirrel, Kai. But I can look for more information about the thief on my computer. Thanks, Katie. We'll find out who stole it and get your capsule back. Send us your location and we'll be right over. Thanks a million, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out more about the thief that stole Kai's smell-collecting capsule. It seems the animal that stole Kai's capsule isn't a squirrel. It's a Siberian chipmunk. A Siberian chipmunk? That's right. The Siberian chipmunks are the only chipmunks that live in Asia. They are typically found with five dark stripes, just like the one in Kai's photo. Siberian chipmunks eat nuts, seeds, and fruits like berries. Do you think the Siberian chipmunk mistook the capsule for food? You're probably right, Leo. It looks like the chipmunk didn't mean to be a thief. But we still have to help Kai get his capsule back. Let's go find the Siberian chipmunk and return Kai his capsule. Hi, Kai. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm so glad you're here to help. I can't wait to get my capsule back. It wasn't a squirrel that took your capsule. It was a Siberian chipmunk. A Siberian chipmunk? How are we going to find it? Well, it likes to eat nuts and seeds. We can lay a trail to lure it out. Great idea, Katie. Let's gather some nuts. That's the last one I've got. I hope this works. Yes, it's working. Come closer, chipmunk. Come closer. Uh, the chipmunk isn't eating the food. It's stuffing the food in its mouth. Whoa, its cheeks are growing. I wonder if that's normal. It's gonna blow! Huh? Popcorn? Oops. Sorry, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Don't worry, Kai. The chipmunk is not going to explode. <clears throat> like other chipmunks, Siberian chipmunks carry food in their cheek pouches, and their cheeks can expand up to three times the size of their heads. Wow! They then carry the food to their burrows, where they will store it away so they can eat it later. See you around, Junior Rangers! Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky! Rocky. The chipmunk is here! Hi there! We don't mean you any harm. You have a capsule in your cheek that belongs to my friend. It's very precious to him, and it's definitely not food. Can you return it to us? Not an acorn, a capsule. Not a blueberry. <laughs> not a nut. No nuts! This is going to be a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Hero? Oh no! It's getting away! Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate! Hover boots activate! It's over there! I just want my capsule back! We've got you now, Chipmunk! Aha! Where is it? Hey, come back, Chipmunk! Look, it went into that burrow! I'll see what it's doing underground. 
What do you see, Kai? I see a tunnel. Wait, there's the chipmunk. It's taking my capsule out of its cheek. I think I can reach it with my grappler. Ah! Ants! Abort! Abort! Ew! Yuck! What's wrong, Kai? I have to get close enough to reach inside the burrow with my grappler. But there are ants there. I don't like ants. That's okay, Kai. I'll help you. Cool beans. I'll direct you with my goggles. Wow, this is cool. Now let's aim for the burrow. Got it. I'll guide you with my goggles. Aha, a little to the left. Uh, now to the right. Go straight and grab. You got it, Leo. Thank you, guys. I couldn't have done it without your help. My smell collecting capsule is back. I can't believe I nearly lost it. I spent so many days tracking this rare animal. Its smell is just incredible. A real treasure. What rare animal does it belong to? The rarest animal on this planet. No other ranger has seen it except me. It's one of a kind. It's the smell of a mission accomplished. mess. We should put these tools away, Leo. Sure, Katie. How did that get in there? Whoa! That's not a bone, Hero. Hey! Hero, no! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How are you today? Back, Hero. Hi, Leo. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just so tired. I was sleeping in a tree in the Tasmanian forest, but there was a high-pitched screech coming from somewhere. And now all the animals are stressed and jumpy. Did you say a loud, high-pitched screech? Yeah, I'm calling because I can't tell which animal made the screech. And I can't locate it either, because it's coming from all directions. That's strange. It stopped for a while, but I'm worried, Leo. Can you help me identify the animal? I'll send you a recording of it. Aha! Got it! What was that sound, Leo? That screech was heard in the Tasmanian forest last night. Kyle is unsure which animal it comes from. I can run the recording through the computer to find out more. Awesome. Let's see what animal the screech belongs to. There! The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. That's a scary name for an animal that looks so cute. Well, they're not exactly cute and cuddly, Leo. 
Tasmanian devils are easily angered when they're threatened or when fighting for food. They'll show their teeth and growl, making the sound we just heard. The Tasmanian devil might be in trouble. That could be a cry for help. In that case, Katie, we should go check it out. Hi, Kyle. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I splashed some water on my face and I feel more awake now. Did you find anything? Guess what? The screech belongs to a Tasmanian devil. We think it could be in trouble. We'll be coming over to Tasmania to find it. Hey, guys. Welcome to Tasmania. Hi, Kyle. The screeching has stopped for a while now, so maybe the Tasmanian devil left. I'll scan the area using my audio frequency sensor. Found it. Good job, Katie. Let's head over there right now. It's coming from over there. Careful, Katie, watch out! <gasps> Thanks, Leo. Look, it's the Tasmanian Devil. Wow, that's deep. The Tasmanian Devil is trapped. That must be why he was calling out all night. We have to help get him out. Hmm, there has to be a way. Ah, that might work. Here, Tasmanian Devil, grab hold of the stick. I don't think that's going to work, Kyle. Besides, that looks dangerous. Just a little more. Ah! Gotcha. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Thank you for saving me, Ranger Rocky. You have to be more careful, Junior Ranger. Look. Whoa. Yep. That's a Tasmanian Devil, all right. Tasmanian devils have powerful jaws with sharp teeth. They have an extremely strong bite. In fact, it is so strong that it's able to bite through metal wires. Tasmanian devils are also known to eat a lot. They especially love to eat meat. It would be wise not to get too close to a Tasmanian devil. So we have to get the Tasmanian devil out, but we can't get too close to him. And Ranger Rocky mentioned that they eat a lot. I got it. We can put some food in the cage and lower it to lure the Tasmanian Devil in. Then we close the door with the remote and transport him back to his home. Great idea, Leo. Does anybody have any food? I've got some meat pies in my ATV. Meat, meat pies? pies? Yeah, it's for when I stay over in the bush. Mm. A little more to the left. You're nearly there. Touchdown! All clear! It's working! He's going in! Huh? Why won't it shut? What's going on, Katie? He's almost done eating the meat pies. Huh? What's that? Oh, it's Hero Saliva from this morning. That's why the remote is acting funny. Got it. Oh, no! too late. It's okay, Katie. We can try again with another meat pie. But we don't have any left. Ranger Rocky, do you have any meat pies left? Sorry, Leo. I'm all out. Kyle? Mm. Nope. No, Hero, don't eat that. We need that meat pie to save the Tasmanian Devil. Hero, no. <laughs> Hero's not eating it. He's helping us. Quick, Katie, open the cage door. Good job, Hero. Yes, we did it. <laughs> I guess that's his way of saying thanks. You're welcome. I'm glad we managed to save the Tasmanian Devil and return him to his home. We are here. Wow, where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? 
I'm already on it. Oh, it's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one, the chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long, sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. <gasps> oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. Coming for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero. Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream. But where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue chameleon? Nope. But it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! 
The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home, sweet home. They're friends now. No more fighting. I can't see a thing! Uh, is, is everybody all right? I'm fine. Just a little blinded. What was that bright flash of light? Leo, Katie, I'm so sorry. I thought you guys were rare animals. <laughs> Hi, Hero. Are you all right? <laughs> you should have known it was you, Kai. Why did you ask us to meet you here? There's an animal photography competition coming up. I need your help to find a rare, beautiful animal so I can take the winning photo. But what's with the drone and the blinding flash? Oh, this is the Chimera 1000. Cool. <laughs> Did you guys see that? What was that? That's my winning photo. Come on, Chimera 1000, do your thing. Let's see. It's just a bunch of colors. The photo looks blurred. We should remove the motion blur to see what's really there. Hmm, fine. I'll see what I can do. But I'm telling you, we're looking at a photo of an actual... Huh? What type of bird is it? Send the photo to me, Kai. I'll search for more information. Sure, Katie. One photo of the bird coming right up. It seems the bird is a male golden pheasant. Male golden pheasants are really colorful, while female golden pheasants are just brown in color. Golden pheasants are clumsy flyers. They prefer running instead of flying and spend most of their time on the ground. Some believe that golden pheasants bring good luck. <laughs> That'll get me a first prize. I must take a photo of the golden pheasant. But how are we going to find him? From what we've seen, he's pretty quick. Huh? What's that, Hero? A feather? Not just any feather. It belongs to the golden pheasant. Look, more feathers. I bet if we follow these feathers, they'll lead us right to him. No, the golden pheasant can't be seen in any of the photos. That's OK. I'm sure we'll find him again. We'll get you your winning photo. Thanks, Leo. But the only way we can take a picture of him is if he stays still. Hmm. What if we got him to dance instead? Dance? It says here that when a male golden pheasant wants to get the attention of a female golden pheasant, it dances. That's another way to stop him from running. But where are we going to find a female golden pheasant? That's him! Hide! It worked! He's approaching Hero! Okay, Hero, it's all up to you now. Try to look friendlier. He's getting closer! Can you try shaking your feathers, Hero? <laughs> I think he likes Hero! Now's your chance, Kai! It's a little dark here, so I'll have to raise the flash. Say cheese! No! Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky! <laughs> no! My winning photo! Where did the pheasant go? It's up in the trees, Leo. You see, golden pheasants are timid and shy. They might not be able to fly gracefully, but when startled, they can jump upwards really quickly. But why did you stop me from taking a photo of it? It wasn't the photo that was the problem. It was the flash. Golden pheasants can lose their colors if they're exposed to light for too long. Your camera flash might last for only a second, but for a bird that lives outdoors, every second makes a difference. I'll be on my way now, Junior Rangers. But remember, 
No flash photography allowed. Got it. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger, Rocky. Ranger Rocky. So that's why the golden pheasant runs from bush to bush. Not only does he have to stay out of the light, he's always afraid. And we sure didn't help. Let's make it up to the pheasant rangers. Just have to turn this on and it's done. Great. But what is it? And how is this going to help the golden pheasant get around the forest? Presenting the Kymaflage Cloak. It creates an energy field that reflects whatever's around you, so you blend right in. It'll protect the pheasant from light rays, and it grants him the power of invisibility. Wow! No way! Prepare to be amazed. All you have to do is click your feet together like this. <gasps> he disappeared! <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Your camouflage cloak is amazing, Kai. Now you can turn invisible whenever you like. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You can even walk under the sun. So, can I take a photo of you now? I promise, no flash. Uh-oh. The pheasant used the camouflage cloak on us. Oh, no! How are we going to find him now? He's invisible. Come out! I thought we had a deal. How are we going to take a photo of an invisible bird? Junior Ranger Kyle. Hey, Leo. Well, I found a bird, and I can't quite figure it out. It's a little furry and has a long, thin beak. But guess what? It has no wings. Here, I took a photo of it. A bird with no wings? That's odd. Sure is. I found it circling around the same place last night, poking the ground with its beak. And it was screeching loudly. I think it might have lost something. That sounds like a real mystery. I can look for more information about the bird on the computer. Great. Then we'll head over to help you solve the mystery, Kyle. Cool. I'll share my location in New Zealand. See you both in a bit. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out more about this mysterious bird. It seems the mystery bird is a kiwi. Kiwi? Like the kiwi fruit? Do they share the same name because they're both furry? That's actually not fur on the kiwi bird, but thin hair like feathers. Cool! And does it really not have wings? No, it does have wings. Tiny ones that are hidden under its feathers. They're too small to help the kiwi fly, though, so it gets around by walking on the ground instead. So the bird that Kyle found is a kiwi. That's one mystery solved. All we have left is to figure out what it lost. 
Let's head to New Zealand to help the kiwi. Oh, it looks like paw prints. They look so big. There's a whole trail of them. Three eggs, four eggs. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to New Zealand. Cool stilts, Ranger Rocky. What were you doing up there? I was just making sure those eggs are safe. There have been reports of missing eggs from birds' nests. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But no worries, Junior Rangers. I'm on the case. We're here to help Kyle with a kiwi who seems to have lost something, too. Ah, kiwis are fascinating birds. Unlike most birds, they dig burrows instead of building nests in the trees. And they are the only birds in the world with nostrils at the end of their long beaks. They're super sniffers. Exactly. Kiwis use their super nose to find worms and bugs in the ground to eat. They like eating seeds and grubs, too. I better get back to work. Those eggs aren't going to count themselves. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Junior Rocky. Rocky. We better get to work, too. What are you doing up there? Oh, hello, guys. I figured it out. This little bird probably lost its home, so I built it a new one. Do you like your new nest? Oh, do you not like it? That's a kiwi, Kyle. Kiwis don't live in nests in the trees. They live in burrows on the ground. Oh, a kiwi? Sorry, kiwi. I didn't know you lived in a burrow. It's searching again. What could it be searching for? That's what we're here to solve. The mystery of the kooky kiwi. It brought us to its burrow. We should search its home for clues. I'm on it. Looks like your standard burrow here. Dark, cozy, burrowy. Ha! <laughs> What's this? A clue. It looks like fur. Let's check if it belongs to the kiwi. Hmm. It doesn't look like a match. Yes. It's a different color, which means... The kiwi has a jacket that's a different color? And the kiwi's looking for it? No, Kyle. Kiwis don't wear jackets. It means the fur in the burrow belongs to another animal. An intruder. You're right, Katie. That makes more sense. But who could the intruder be? <laughs> what did you find, Hero? Paw prints. Kiwis don't leave such prints. They must belong to the intruder. Time to find out who this intruder is. I sent you a photo of the paw prints, Katie. A stoat? Stoats are mischievous animals that tend to disturb birds, particularly those living on the ground. There's more of them over here. Come on, let's follow the prints. Hopefully they'll lead us to the stoat. Over there, a stoat. It's the same color as the fur we found in the kiwi's burrow. Is it rolling an egg around? So that's what the kiwi is looking for. Her egg. <laughs> Hero. Woohoo! Stoat chase. Stop right there. Huh? Where is everyone? Whoa, uh, excuse me. Ah! Come here. Wait a second. Where's the egg? Where's Hero? Over there. Got it. Phew. We did it. We found what the kiwi was looking for. Here you go, kiwi. Mystery solved. Mission accomplished, Detective Katie. <gasps> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. <sighs> Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! 
That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <laughs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold, too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Fara found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate. Males in particular tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. <laughs> I found him sitting alone. <gasps> Choo! Oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. <sighs> Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy, too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh, dear. It didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. 
Bye, Bye monkey. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Katie, where are you? Katie, where are you hiding? Wow, Hero, Katie's really good at hiding. Hmm, maybe there's a way we can hear where she is. <coughs> it's coming from the treehouse. This is cheating, Leo. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do it again. Go hide somewhere else. Fine, but no cheating this time. Leo, are you cheating again? No, that's my watch beeping. Someone's calling me. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What's up? Hey, Leo. I need some advice about Parker, my pet spider. He's been looking a little down and hasn't been very active lately. Here, I took a photo of him. Whoa, that's a cool spider, Kyle. Hmm, do you think maybe Parker misses his home in the wild? Yeah, that's it. I should release him back into the wild where he truly belongs. Good idea. That should cheer him up. Thanks, Chief. Ranger out. Ranger out. A spider? What kind? Can you send Parker's photo to the computer? I'd like to find out what type of spider he is. Sure, I'll send the photo. Did you find anything about Parker? It seems Parker is a red-backed spider. Oh, I've never heard of that species. Male redbacks are light brown with white markings, but female redbacks have a black body with a red stripe on its back, which means... Parker is actually a girl. That's right. It also says here that redbacks are highly venomous. That means that their bites can cause serious harm to us. However, only the female's bite is dangerous. Oh, no. Since Parker has a dangerous bite, we have to warn Kyle to be careful when releasing her. He should only do it somewhere far away from anyone. I better call Kyle to tell him. He's not picking up. We can track his locator to find him and tell him ourselves. Sounds like a plan, Katie. Let's go warn Kyle about his pet spider. And most of all, we'll miss our late night chats. You're such a good listener. <laughs> oh, hey there, hero. You're just in time to say goodbye to Parker. Kyle, stop! Parker is a venomous red-back spider. You can't just release her anywhere. What? So I've had a venomous pet spider all this time? That's so cool. Wait a second. What do you mean, her? Parker is a girl. You're venomous and a girl? There's just so much I don't know about you. Parker's bite is dangerous, Kyle. We need to make sure she's released in a secluded area. Sweet spot. Parker's gonna love it here. But to be safe, let's make sure there's nobody around. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing in this neck of the woods? We're looking for a safe spot to release Parker, Kyle's pet spider. She's a super cool venomous redback. Well, if she's a redback, I know just the place to set her free. Although redbacks can be found near or inside people's homes, they are also found in drier habitats like the desert. Deserts are deserted. Few people would go there. That's right. And the Simpson Desert is as deserted as they get. Did you hear that, Parker? We found you a new home. <laughs> oh no, Parker has escaped. She's not in her jar. Don't worry, Kyle. Parker could not have gone very far. Let's spread out to look for her. Great idea, Leo. But remember to be extra careful, Junior Rangers. Parker, where are you? Huh? What are you barking at, Hero? Is there something on my boomerang? Can't see. <laughs> oh, silly me. There's nothing on it, Hero. Uh-oh. Ranger Rocky, I'm gonna need you to stand perfectly still. Why is that, Leo? Parker's on your hat. I'm gonna try to catch her. Almost. Ah, she jumped off. Where did she go? I don't see her anywhere. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. 
We'll just have to broaden our search. Hero can help with that. Great idea, guys. Now let's see if we can find her. What's going on? We can't see anything. Hmm, it seems like there's something covering the camera. We'll have to remove it. Hero, can you fly it back to us? Look, guys, it's Parker. Parker's the one covering the camera. Change of plans, Hero. Fly it towards Parker's jar. Steady now. Welcome back, Parker. Yay! We found her! I'll miss watching the sunset with you beside me, but I know that you'll enjoy those beautiful sunsets more in your new home out in the wild. Goodbyes are hard. We're ready now, Ranger Rocky. Be free, Parker. It's the right thing to do, Kyle. She'll be happier in the wild. Goodbye, my dear friend. Mission accomplished. Hi there, Junior Rangers. Are you ready to play a game? Let's get Ranger Joey to play with us. Hello, Junior Ranger Leo. Are you and your friends ready? We've got this. Wow, that is one big animal. This animal is known for its large ears, long trunk, and ivory tusk. It's big and very strong. Oh, that sounds familiar. They're surprisingly good swimmers too. Can you guess the animal? That's right, it's an African bush elephant. That was fantastic, Junior Rangers. Yeah, that was fun, Ranger Joey. Thanks, and Ranger out. Ranger out. Thank you for helping me out. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you again next time. My turn. Wow! Oops. Uh-oh. It looks stuck. No biggie. I'll just climb up to get it. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Leo, help! It happened so fast. She was just beside me and now she's gone. I can't believe it. What am I gonna do? Whoa, Kyle, slow down. What happened? Who's gone? My Stella, look! Oh, Stella's just a toy. She's not just a toy. She's my best buddy in the whole wide world. And now she's gone forever. Snatched away by a kangaroo thief. A, a kangaroo, kangaroo thief? thief? Yeah, a kangaroo stole Stella from right under my nose. Luckily, I snapped a photo of it before it escaped. I'll send it to you. Is that Stella in its pouch? Yes, I really need your help to get it back. Don't worry, Kyle. Hang tight. We'll be there very soon. That'd be awesome. I'll share my location with you. Ranger out. Ranger out. There it is. It seems our thief is a red kangaroo, the world's largest marsupial. A red kangaroo? What's a marsupial? Marsupials are a group of mammals that carry their young in a pouch. Female kangaroos have a pouch on their belly made by a fold in their skin. They use it to carry their baby kangaroos called jellies. So now we know our thief is a red kangaroo. Let's head to Australia to help Kyle get Stella back. Let's have a look. Hmm, where are you, Stella? Aha, there she is. You see her? Yeah, have a look. Stella, it really is her. But why would a kangaroo want to keep Stella in her pouch? Where's her Joey? Who's Joey? Joey's are baby kangaroos. I don't think she meant to steal Stella. She might have mistaken Stella for her own Joey. That makes perfect sense, Katie. Stella does look like a Joey, which means all we have to do is find her Joey and swap it for Stella. Sounds easy enough, but how are we gonna find it? 
It's her Joey. Let's follow him. So what's the plan? How are we going to bring the Joey back to his mom? It says here that red kangaroos are plant eaters. They mostly eat grasses and flowering plants. All right, then. Let's go pick some flowers. Time to go home, buddy. Stella! We're coming! Oh, no! The noise from our vehicles must have frightened them. They're getting away. Kyle! We've got to try to herd them back together. Herd? Like sheeps? Exactly. You approach from that side, and I'll approach from the other. Roger that, Leo. Just a bit closer. It's working. They're gathering in the middle. Wait, stop. We're about to crash into Kyle. Wow! Ah! Wow! Phew, that was too close. <gasps> They're getting away! Oh no! Oh no! Stella! <gasps> Are you okay, Kyle? She was so close. I could have just reached up and grabbed her. What are we going to do now? It'll be okay. We just have to find another way to get closer to the kangaroos without scaring them. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! It seems the kangaroo isn't afraid of the pogo stick. One of the kangaroos mistook Kyle's toy, Stella, for her Joey. We found the actual Joey, but we're having difficulty swapping him for Stella. The mob got away from us too quickly. Well, if you need to chase after them, then you'll have to hop really fast. Kangaroos hop along on their powerful hind legs and do so at great speed. Their muscular tail helps with balance and speed. So, we have to be quick and we can't use our vehicles. I have an idea! Ranger Rocky, do you happen to have any spare pogo sticks? Of course, Katie. I always bring extras. Look! Kangaroo's up ahead! Stella! Come on, Junior Rangers! Let's check those pouches for Stella! Stella? Ah, uh, this one's a boy! This one's got her own Joey already. Leo, I think I see Stella in that kangaroo up ahead. I'll check. Katie's right. That's the kangaroo thief. Stella! Let's approach slowly. We don't want to scare her away. Go on, buddy. Go back to your mom. Aw, thanks, bud. Yes! I got Stella back! You did it! Well done, Junior Rangers! Hero! Hero, get out of the pouch! It's only meant for kangaroo joeys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Exciting news! I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and web feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm going to name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh, wait. There it is again. I'm going to try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm, that animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. 
Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the platypus one can. Sounds like the platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus one, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh, hang on guys, rough water's ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh no, Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm gonna throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick. Grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little more. Grab my hand, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. Is everybody all right? Shoot, bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Raise your rocky! Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks, making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. Look, there really was a burrow there. We did it. I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it. We reunited the platypus family. The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever. I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. 